Hello guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Father One. We're back to a latest update. This is the uh, weather analysis for this uh, Sunday to Tuesday, November 30 to December 2, 2025. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And before we begin, we'd like to thank our partners about this power. Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here. If you're watching via Facebook, there is a link below this uh, uh, video. And also the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Leno Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. Now, before we begin, uh, I would like to uh, thank the uh, participants of the uh, Empowering uh, Citizen Scientists for Disaster Resilience and Safer Communities, which was held last uh, Thursday and Friday at the uh, Naga College Foundation. So this was uh, sponsored by Bloomberg uh, Philanthropies, wherein Naga City is one of the uh, top 50 finalists, and also Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And in cooperation with the city government of Naga, and uh, during the program, we have guests from the University of Pagasa, like Dr. Jan A. Manalo, and also uh, we conducted uh, Typhoon 101, uh, the origin of Typhoon 2000, how it started, as well as a uh, guest from um, the OST Pagasa, flood forecasting, uh, engineer uh, uh, Nevajin uh, Samudio, and also L. Jeffrey uh, Dineros of the Admiral Camarani Sur, and also Jan Plopinio of the IECR of the Ateneo de Naga University who conducted uh, the role of citizen scientist in building resilient communities. And our last guest was uh, Dr. Gay Jane Perez, OISC of the Philippine Space Agency. And we also conducted some workshop about uh, manual typhoon tracking and the digital typhoon tracking as well. And congratulations to all. It's winning schools will have their own representative, which will be uh, be the one that will teach them when the SSR building of Naga City, once the SSR building is operational within the next, uh, by 2026 and moving forward. So here are some pictures. This was uh, during Thursday at Nago College. These are all the students. Thank you very much for participating. And uh, I hope you get all the knowledge that I infused into your minds. And on Friday, we also conducted uh, a special uh, alternative class program brought to you by the Ateneo de Naga University Office of Student Affairs headed by Sir uh, Sonny uh, Vitus. Again, thank you so much for uh, inviting me. And I was able to uh, give some lectures and answer some key questions regarding uh, about typhoons and uh, the effects of uh, these uh, frequent visitors uh, during the time of uh, climate change. So here's uh, some pictures. And these are all the origins of the uh, alternative class of the Athena Dinaga Osa. Again, thank you so much for listening. And I hope to uh, see you again in the future for more talks. And uh, let's begin now with our update. We are still uh, having some good weather for the past few days, except for some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. We have here a... Uh, yeah, weak easterlies, bringing some showers and thunderstorms across eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao. Elsewhere, good weather will be expected, except for isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. We have a shear line here over the uh, northern and eastern coastal waters or coastal areas of uh, Cagayan, and we have the northeast monsoon uh, affecting Batanes and Babuyan Group of Islands and the coastal waters of uh, extreme northern Luzon. The northeast monsoon is continuing being enhanced by a tropical storm Koto, which is uh, quasi-stationary to the east of uh, uh, Vietnam near the coastal waters. And we have here the uh, once tropical depression Senyar or tropical storm Senyar, which crossed the Malay Peninsula 
passing uh, very close to uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur and this is a very rare system which formed very close to the equator and has moved into the western pacific south china sea area and it has been uh, interacting with the uh, kotor but right now it's dissipating and most of its rain bands will be absorbed into the southern uh, circulation of kotor and this system for the next uh, five days will make landfall over eastern or southeastern vietnam so that will be the uh, forecast of koto now outside of our country outside of power we are monitoring 93w this is a newly formed lpa which is set to become a significant uh, low or tropical uh, cyclone moving into the eastern sections of the philippines sometime december 5 to 7 okay so uh, we will keep you updated for the latest update on this LPA right now, it's still highly uncertain since it's more than five days. Uh, we will show you the latest on that in just a short while. Now here's the fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. And there you go. To the west, southwest of Guam, this is 93W. And it's likely to move towards the west-northwest. And then it will uh, move towards the southwest. And after a couple of slides, we're going to show you the potential track of this uh, new LPA based on the European American model and the Google DeepMind. Okay, and let me show to you the zoom in satellite animation over the uh, country. And you can clearly see here the uh, cloudiness of the uh, Easter East. These are thunderstorms which affected the uh, eastern uh, portions of uh, Samar. Uh, early this afternoon and uh, elsewhere there are some localized thunderstorms as well over Metro Manila, Southern Tagalog provinces, Central Luzon and some parts of uh, Western Visayas, Eastern Mindanao as well and as for the track of Koto again this will be the track for the next three to four days making landfall over southeastern Vietnam and it will uh, finally uh dissipate over the land mass of vietnam after three to four days and here's the uh, forecast models first we're going to show to you the american model this is the latest one as of uh, 2 p.m and you can uh, see here that the lpa entering par on december 2 moving towards the west and we have here a sudden surge of the northeast monsoon moving into uh, Luzon okay so this northeast monsoon will start to interact with the uh, LPA 93W if it becomes a tropical depression it will be named by Pagasa as Wilma if they upgraded it into a tropical depression and on December 4, that system will start to move west-southwest as uh, the strong surge of the northeast monsoon is likely to uh, push the system into the uh, southwest track. It is likely to uh, pose a threat to eastern Visayas and southern Bicol region. And on December 5th, it will start to cross northern Samar and into Masbate, that will be December 5th uh, in the afternoon. So that is the forecast of the uh, American model, which is still um, five to six days from now. So the probability is low to medium. Okay. So we will uh, keep an eye on the system. Now let's uh, take a look at the uh, European model and uh, fast forward to december 2 there you go lpa east of uh, luzon and then uh, it's likely to enter par tuesday uh, evening or wednesday morning december 3 and uh, you can see it here that the northeast monsoon will also begin to uh, intensify the same with the american model and then it will interact with this uh, uh, low pressure system now it will and uh, the track of the 
ECMWF will uh, move the system towards the southwest due to the high pressure ridge right here over eastern China and you can uh, observe the strong northeast monsoon as well so on December 5 it will continue to move on a southwesterly track and most likely on uh, uh, Saturday or Sunday it will make landfall somewhere over eastern Samar as a tropical depression or tropical storm since it's likely to become a midget system or a small system a possibility of uh, rapid intensification will always be there okay since the uh, oceanic heat content to the east of the country remains uh, warm okay so it shall uh, traverse uh, summer masbate and on monday december 8th it will be over the eastern portion of Mindoro or Oriental Mindoro as a uh, tropical storm. Okay, and moving out into the West Philippine Sea on December 9. So that's the uh, forecast of the European model. I'm going to show to you now the latest from Google DeepMind. So it looks like it's uh, all also showing a same scenario moving towards the southwest making landfall over northern Samar same with the American model but it will continue to move towards the southwest you you can see it here okay towards the southwest hitting uh, or passing over Panay as a uh, tropical storm so that's the uh, highest wind uh, likely from this system but over the open waters of the Philippine Sea, it's uh, likely to become a severe tropical storm once it uh, move or dig down towards the southwest. The effect of the cool dry air from the northeast monsoon will weaken the system down to just 85 kph, making landfall over northern Samar and northern Panay. So that's the scenario of this LPA93W from Google DeepMind. If we are going to look at the ensemble, so the cone of uncertainty of this model is from Bicol down to northeastern Mindanao. So right now it's still highly uncertain. 50 to 30 percent probability. So we will wait and see once the system becomes a tropical cyclone and please take all the side precautions okay and for the rain forecast come december 4 and 5 this is from the uh, european model three hourly rain and uh, it looks like once it makes landfall on uh, early morning of sunday december 7 that's the time that we might be having some rainfall and uh, it will persist on sunday December 7 until uh, Monday, uh, maybe Monday afternoon or evening, it will start to uh, weaken. But the rainfall is from, let me see, Saturday night until Monday. Okay, because of the passage of this uh, small system over uh, Samar, Masbate, and uh, Romblon. So that's the forecast of the European model. Now let me uh, take a look, or let me uh, give you the uh, latest on the 24-hour rainfall accumulation. And it looks like the uh, rainfall is somewhere between 50 to 100 millimeters over the Bicol region, including Camarillo and Naga, while more than 100 millimeters is likely over Samar and Masbate, particularly the northern portions of Samar and um, Romblon. That will be beginning um, December 6 until December 8. So that's the scenario from the ECMWF rainfall accumulation forecast for 24 hours. Okay. So as for the waves, again, as I said last time, for the next five days, we will be experiencing some high waves across the east north and west philippine sea although over the uh, mm, central waters of our country right here 
it's still at two meters so moderate to rough and becoming more uh, intense here with high waves of up to five meters okay over the east philippine sea and west philippine sea at four meters this is due to the approach of that uh, lpa that could become a, a tropical cyclone because before that could become a tropical cyclone so we will uh, keep an eye on the system so those who are willing to have some fishing uh, activities east and west of our country is not a good time this week and uh, if you're living over the areas of uh, Visayas the uh, possibility of some good waves will uh, still okay December 1 and 2 but come December 3 or 4 it will begin it will begin to have some rough waves up to 2 meters because of the approach of this uh, uh, LPA and the possibility of a shear line and the uh, northeast monsoon okay so uh, you can see here let's go back to the rain forecast 24 hours this is the uh, uh, shear line this area okay so if we uh, move this into uh, the 8th of December that shear line is likely to affect this area of uh, eastern Luzon from eastern Cagayan down to northern Quezon. This is due to the shear line. But over Bicol and uh, parts of northern and eastern Visayas, this is going to be due to the effects of the... <clears throat> due to the effects of the circulation of LPA 93W. Okay, so that's the uh, forecast for tonight. And we will return on Tuesday for another update. Once the system becomes active tomorrow, we will be issuing uh, quickly another update tomorrow. But if not, on Tuesday. Again, this is Mike Padua saying... Uh, uh, have a great night. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.